Hey everyone, welcome to Rainbow Tarot UK. I am Nev and thanks ever so much for popping by and having this pick a card reading with me. And today we are asking, what is the T on your person? Your person of interest, you know, what aren't you seeing? What might they be hiding from you? What might they be keeping from you? What are their secret feelings and thoughts? So we're going to look at all that in today's reading. And we've got our three piles to choose from. We have pile number one, which is this card. And it says, Surrender to Greatness. There we go. With the orange calcite. Then we have pile number two, which is this card, which says, True Companions Who Are True to Each Other. There we go. And that is with the white halite here. Uh, and then we have part number three, which is this card, and it says, this is the world of dreams. Okay, and that is with the lapis lazuli here. Okay, so those are your three piles. Go for the one that feels right, the one that seems to be calling you, and I will see you really, really soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pal number one, welcome back to your reading. So today we are doing what is the tea on your person? What are they hiding from you? What are they keeping secret? What are you not being able to see? Um, you know, what's going on underneath the surface? All that kind of stuff. What's the tea? So you came into the reading under this card, which is a beautiful card, I think. And it's called Surrender to Greatness. Now, this is the Prophecy Oracle deck. If you're wondering, I actually love this Oracle deck. I think every single one of the cards is beautiful. But uh, this is the card that you chose to come into the reading on. So let's put that there. With also the orange calcite here. So let's put that there so we can see it as well. So how are you all? Is everyone doing well? I really hope so. Sending you all my love and light as always. I uh, just want to remind you, of course, it's a general reading. And also just say thank you for all your lovely support, likes, subscribes, and just popping by, you know, all the, all the people that regularly pop by and leave comments and stuff. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, yeah, so it is a general reading, though. So just take what resonates. And it's timeless. So it uh, should be good for whenever you are watching it. But let's get a few oracle cards out on what's the tea, you know. So what, what is the tea? What's um, pile number one's person keeping hidden? What they're keeping secret? What isn't pile number one seeing? What is the tea? Ooh, so we have every step counts, which says there is an advantage in taking things slowly, breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Right, so they might be weighing things up here. They might be weighing things up. They may want to um, take a pause, take a rain check, um, something like that. I mean, tens is actually uh, endings and new beginnings. Um, yeah, okay, well, let's just put that there. Let's just, let's just get some other cards out before we say too much. Okay, let's get out one of these ones. So what are they? Yeah, what's the T? What's going on with pile number one's person? What things are they keeping hidden from pile number one? Confidence. This is card number eight, Poets Narcissus. Or oh, Narcissus. Yeah, Narcissus. Okay. Right, let's get out some tarot here. So what is the T? Pile number one's person. What is going on with them? What are they, you know, what feelings, what thoughts are they hiding from pile number one? So we have the eight of pentacles. We have the emperor. We have the ten of cups. We have the four. Seven of wands, all right. And what's the overarching energy judgment? Hmm. This person, well, what's underneath that? Okay. So what's slipped out is the five of swords, which is, so maybe there's been some kind of, um, separation or some kind of argument or some kind of row. 
that's gone on between you and them or you're not together or there's something that's maybe there's something in the middle of you and them something that's come apart maybe someone you know thought they were better off in that situation if it's your person i think they um they're probably regretting that actually um what i sense because the overarching energy is this judgment card which is something rising yeah something rising to a better place now you've also got the four card which is new beginnings um which i did say didn't i with the card number 10 endings and new beginnings so maybe the tea on your person is that they secretly um want some kind of new beginning with you or want to start with you or start some risky journey with you because the fall is that a risky journey they definitely definitely uh feel very um emotionally attached to you they really really like you here with the ten of cups um certainly uh they they do feel a bit challenged though i've got to say with the seven of wands here they do feel a little bit challenged um they might feel a bit challenged in the situation whatever the whatever the situation is in the connection they're certainly feeling a little bit challenged by it um but i feel like they um equally know how to handle those challenges or know that they can get control of those challenges so if the challenges are they're in separation or um you know there's some issues between the two of you because you might actually be with this person you might look everything might look okay on the surface but um maybe this person is secretly feeling a little bit challenged by the connection maybe they're wondering as well possibly whether there's a split on the horizon or there's some issue on the horizon between the two of you or something that might lead to that again this is like what's the tea so this is what they're secretly thinking so that could be if you're actually with them uh, but maybe they're not showing that um but i think if there are worries or concerns this person is believing that they can you know that you and them can get over that that you can move on from that they might be you know coming up with ways or plans in order to do that for the two of you if you're in separation from them i think this person is maybe strategizing about how they can create a new beginning with you a happy new beginning with you it might feel challenging but with the cut the eight of pentacles here they're working on it they're definitely working on something they're trying to master maybe some sort of plan or something here really so master some kind of strategy or some sort of plan to lead to happiness again with you so we had this slowly didn't we every step counts so maybe they're thinking okay well i need to do this slowly i need to do it step by step if i'm coming back towards pile number one um i need maybe i need to show that i am in control that i am a safe bet because the emperor is a protector a provider the archetypal father figure the archetypal husband figure so they may be thinking i need to show myself in that way to power number one to show myself worthy of coming back into this connection or if you're with them they they are committed i thought like essentially this person is committed to this connection they it does make them feel very happy um but maybe if there's some i don't know maybe you're having some arguments or there's some dissatisfaction in it or someone you know there's a few challenges in it i think this person is thinking actually with the fall and the judgment i want that situation to sort of turn around a little bit for us to sort of you know um overcome these little challenges here and for us to have a new beginning a new start where we um where we you know rise above those issues rise above those challenges um so that's kind of where i'm feeling these what these cards are saying um some of you you might be what you might work with this person this person might be somebody you work with. Maybe it's your boss or someone that you're asking about here yeah? with the Emperor and right next to the Eight of Pentacles because those are work cards. 
Um, maybe you don't know much about them. So maybe the tea is that they are actually in your connection. Um, maybe they're very happy in that connection. That could also be what's going on for some of you. So if you've got a crush on them, um, you know, maybe they are in a connection already. They're in a happy connection. Um, that could also be what's going on here. What else did I want to say? Okay, let's get some at some other some other cards. So in terms of zodiac signs, what we've got is um, Virgo energy, Aries energy, Pisces. We've also got um, Leo energy, and we have got Aquarius energy. I mean, I think if this is a crush situation and you, you know, you're asking about somebody that you're working with or it's your boss or your manager or something and they are essentially in a happy situation. But I think sometimes, you know, they do they do consider maybe they've got their eye on you. They do like you and they do where well, they would. It's a risk they would consider or they have thought about you, but it's a challenge. It would I think it would be a little bit too much of a challenge for them. Um, and I think they'd be worried about the consequences of um you know, developing that situation. Um, because essentially, uh, the emperor is a loyal person. They're loyal, they're committed. Um, you know, they are stable, really. So they usually do the right thing. So they might be tempted by you, they might like you, they may see you as somebody who could, you know, if they were single, potentially they would, you know, start something with. But if they, you know, try and do that when they're, you know, in a happy connection or a stable connection with someone else, they know that's going to cause problems, and they they wouldn't want to, they wouldn't want that. So it's um, maybe it's a bit challenging, a little bit uncomfortable be, to be around you because they like you. Um, they, you know, they contemplate a, a, maybe a life with you or a chance with you or a relationship with you, but it's it's they, they can try they keep those desires or those um, wishes maybe under control because they are mature. And they realise the uh, consequences if they were to act upon that. I think that's probably what I want to say there. Um, so let's get out some other oracle cards. So what is the T? What is the T on power number one's person? What's the T? What are they keeping from power number one? What isn't power number one seeing? Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Because we've got the pumpkin. Productivity. So maybe it's something to do with timing because well now as I record this video, we are moving swiftly towards October the 31st, which is Halloween, so away in time, that kind of thing. So maybe this is a card around timing, something to do with timing, possibly. Uh, card number eight. Um, right, okay. Let's have, what one haven't I had yet? I haven't had one of these ones. So for pile number one, what's the T on their person? Infinite blessings. All right. So maybe they so maybe they're going to do something around Halloween that you're not expecting. Um, infinite blessings. Beautiful. Okay, let's put that there, and let's get out some more tarot. What is the T on? Oh, number one's person, please. What's the T? Page of Sword. Oh, got a lot of curiosity where you're concerned. The Tower. The Three of Swords. Oh, wow. What's all this? What's the T? The Four of Cups. The Knight of Swords. And the overarching energy is the Devil. Wow. Okay, so... Um... So I feel that if you are in separation, which many of you might be here, I feel like this person is really upset and hurt in that period of separation with the Three of Swords. They might feel that something has been spoilt somehow. Some beautiful connection has been spoiled. Or um, maybe they feel they've spoiled something that was solid, wonderful, Maybe in hindsight, there's a huge amount of regret about what they have done because um, 
it could have been really really because the ten of cups is the happiest card in the deck really emotionally and right underneath it, you've got the three of swords which is about heartache it's about loss um um I mean, it could be as well that this person, you're with this person and they are um, maybe um, dissatisfied in some way or they are very worried, with the devil card here, very worried and fearful that this situation can come to, could, come, could come toppling down with the tower card. So if you're with them, it could be that this person has a lot of hidden um, fears about the this situation ending, or um, yeah, or, or coming undone, or things um, yeah, things not working out. Yeah, so those challenges um, you know might be in their on their worst day. They might feel those challenges are really really huge. For you and them and the connection the four of cups is about not being satisfied it's about being dissatisfied so um maybe the situation if you're with them it's going through a really difficult time it's going through a slump you're on the verge of maybe splitting up or something like that and this person has a lot of fear around that and is thinking it's got themselves in maybe into a negative mindset or a negative pattern um in some way or you know is maybe not taking care of themselves very well if you're in separation that's also the case as well so i think this person is suffering so if you're in separation this person is definitely suffering they might not be looking after themselves uh, they may be obsessively thinking about you um there may be a bit of an addiction here going on around uh, their the way that they think about you because you've also got the Page of Swords, which is somebody who's like a bit of a spy, has got a bit of a spy energy. So it could be somebody who is completely focused on you, maybe checking you out on social media, looking up, you know, looking at all your socials, all that kind of stuff, uh, secretly. Um, but yeah, there seems to be um, a, a kind of fear of loss and a regret around spoiling something that was lovely or that used to be lovely. Um, okay, so what have we got? What else have we got here? The Knight of Swords. I'm just going to extend that Knight of Swords, actually. What's that Knight of Swords about? Extend the Knight of Swords, please. What's the Knight of Swords about? So we have the Page of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Swords, and the last one is the Hierophant. I feel like this person, um, I feel like this person wants to communicate with you, with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, because Swords is all about communication. Um, and the page source can literally be also some sort of message or some kind of communication. So, so maybe this person, and this could be a timing issue here, so it could be quite soon, that this person, if you're in separation, maybe wants to communicate with you. <laughs> or if you're with them, what they're secretly hoping for or wanting is better communication, because you've also got the page of wands right next to it. Well, those are both cards of communication. They're also cards of kind of new beginnings. So, and the Eight of Wands is a card of speed, which kind of goes with the pumpkin card. So maybe this person wants to communicate with you quickly around sort of Halloween time, end of October, early November. Um, yeah, they want, they, they want to, they want, I feel like they, because the Knight of Swords is also very much a card of speed uh, and doing something quickly. Um, again, the Two of Swords is doubt. So there might be a lot of doubt in this situation. They might be feeling confused, um, certainly if they're in separation, they might feel there's some choices that need to be made. But with the last card being the Hierophant, I feel like this person is wanting to communicate with you. They're wanting to do it quickly and they're wanting stability back in the situation. So if 
stability has been rocked or there's a potential for stability to be rocked which I think there is because we have the tower underneath the emperor which is stability being rocked to its core to its foundation um, I feel like they want to restore that because the Hierophant is about commitment it's about loyalty it's about doing the right thing it's a very traditional card so I feel like it goes the Emperor because the Emperor is very traditional so if you were you're not with them but you had a settled relationship with them or something happened you know you were together and something happened to bring that into separation there was a row an argument something like that um, this person definitely wants to with the judgment and the hierophant bring it back um you know rise it up they might have a lot of confidence issues though about that they might have very uh, a lot of doubts and fears about that but nonetheless they they're going to communicate they want to communicate with you and and they want to do it quite quickly to probably to end confusion so to bring an end to confusion by suggesting some sort of new new start or new beginning here. That's kind of what I would say here. So let's have a look and see what we've got in terms of... Uh, so we've got obviously we've got all the air signs, haven't we? Of Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. Then we have... What was underneath? I know we had the Tower, but we also had the Three of Swords. That's also an air sign. And the Four of Cups, which is Cancer Energy. That's also an air sign. Obviously, we've got Capricorn and Taurus here as well. So let's get out some of these cards. Um, what's the T on pile number one's person, please? Opportunity. Yeah, I suspect they probably want a new opportunity with you. Or And if you're actually with them uh, and the, the situation is maybe on the brink of being in separation or you're not getting on or it's potential for you to separate and go your own way. I feel this person wants to revive the situation. And look, we've got in the near future, which is exactly what I said when I saw that pumpkin card there. Let's have a couple of message cards. For pile number one, what's the T on their person? What's the T on their person? Uh, I've got these. Oh, that's too many. What's the T? Let's have a couple. Let's have that one. I hid who I who I really am from you. Okay. What else have we got? I want to feel that way again. So pile number one, that has been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing, hitting the like button, hitting the notification bell as well. But otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two, welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing what is the tea on your person, your person of interest? You know, what are they maybe keeping hidden? What are they maybe not saying? What are they keeping secret? What are you not seeing? What was the tea? So you came into the reading under this card, lovely card actually, and it, is, it says, true companions who are true to each other. Uh, this is the Prophecy Oracle deck. I'm saying in pile number one, I absolutely love this Oracle deck. So that's if you are interested, just so that you know what it is. I will put that there. Um, and also you came in and under the white highlight, so let's put that at the top there so you can see it. Lovely. So let's get straight to it. How are you doing? Is everyone okay? I hope so. Sending you all my love and light as always, reminding you that's a general reading. So please just take the messages that resonate and that feel right to you. Um, and also it is timeless, so it's good for whenever you are catching it. So let's get straight to it for pile number two. What is the T on their person? What is their person keeping hidden? What is pile number two not seeing? Maybe what's their person not saying? What is the T? So let's get one of these cards. And this says, ooh, total submersion. Total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find what your life has been lacking. Oh, okay. Lovely, actually. Uh, let's get out one of these cards here. So what is pile number two's person? What's a T on pile number two's person? Let's have a look. Power, Queen of the Night. 
card number 31, Power, Queen of the Knights. Yes, I feel like they're keeping a lot of things hidden here. Because the knight is just reminding me of night time. Um, you know, obviously we don't see as clearly in the night time as we do in the day. They've got very powerful hidden feelings for you, I think. Um, certainly. Let's have a look. Uh, let's get your tarot out first before I say anything. I've got a few ideas, but let's just get the tarot out first. So, <clears throat> what is pile number two's person? What's the tea on their person? What is their person keeping hidden from them? What are their secrets? You know, can we spill the tea on that? Page of Wands. Three of Wands. Six of Swords. Nine of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, I thought that one. Okay. And the Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah, I think this person. The tea is this person really, 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 really does like you um, a lot. Pile number one. Um, and if they've told you that they like you, maybe you don't realise how much they like you. And that's the kind of tea. Um, look at this. I mean, your main card really says it all, doesn't it? It's a very romantic image. Um, and it goes so well with the Knight of Cups here. I feel like your person is deep in their, deep in their feelings for you. Um, and they want to just completely focus on you and on that. Now, this is card number 32. 32 counts down to five. And five is about change and challenge. Now, this person is not this person doesn't feel challenged as well in this situation because they do. But they maybe feel that they're that you somehow or the connection helps them to feel powerful, helps them to feel confident. So I feel like you give them a, a sense of confidence. They are, um, I feel like this person really, really, really admires you. The page of wands is, you know, they're excited by you. They feel incredibly excited by you. They really fancy you a uh, big time. I feel like they've got a lot of um, attraction towards you. There's a lot of chemistry in this connection as far as they are concerned. But there may be an element of challenge or sort of stuckness in it. Um, a waiting around, really, with the three of wands here. So this could be sort of like you might be asking about your crush, somebody that you like, or someone that you're in the early stages of a connection with. Um, where things, you know, like, you know, at the beginning of something, maybe things are a little bit stilted or, you know, um, you don't quite know how to behave around one another. So it might feel a little bit stuck or you're not sure, that kind of thing. Um, it could be as well that this, um, you know, this person um, wants some sort of revival with you because, you know, we've got this moving into karma waters. So I feel like this person wants to move this connection from maybe stuckness or challenge or difficulty because the nine of wands is, you know, somebody who's a little bit tired, um, a little bit worn out by things, um, feels, yeah, feels quite challenged. But then nevertheless wants to meet that challenge, wants to go for it. And they want this situation to move into a calmer place, into a more stable situation. And the Knight of Cups is, I mean, they want to come forward. They want to show you how they are feeling. They, they feel very romantic towards you. Pisces might mean something to you as a star sign there. But I mean, the Knight of Cups is the most romantic, you know, card in the deck, really. So this person is deep deep in their feels for you deep in their feelings they are probably dreaming a lot about you fantasizing a lot about you they might actually want to come forward if you're not with them they might want to come forward ask you out on a date take you out send you a message um call you up connect with you on socials that sort of stuff uh, do some sort of gesture that um they're certainly maybe thinking about that or doing some sort of gesture because the page of ones is also like a message um, you know, and, and a new beginning as well. So it's a message, it's a new beginning, it's, you know, an exciting new beginning. So I feel this person is so excited by you. So they feel very physically attracted to you, but they also feel very romantic towards you. Now, the overarching energy is the Ace of Wands. So some of you might have just started something with this person. So you might be in the very early stages 
of a connection with this person. Um, it's like the seed. It feels very passionate. This person definitely has a lot of passion, chemistry, fire for you. Or this person is wanting to create that with you. They're, they want to create that with you for sure. But it might feel a bit of a tall order, a bit of a challenge sometimes, or maybe the situation's a bit stuck, um, something like that. But they see that you and them have got a strong connection, or they feel that you and them have got a strong, a really strong connection. So we have got all of the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got Pisces. Um, and we've also got um, Aquarius energy. So let's get out some more of a card, shall we? And what is the tea? So what is the tea? I'm fine, I'm a two person. What's the tea? What are they keeping hidden? What are they keeping secret? Divination, chives. Mm, again, that adds up to five. They may feel they're relying a lot on their intuition when it comes to you. So maybe they're either not able to talk to you or not able to connect with you and they're having to go with what their gut is telling them. Um, or it's the early stages and you're not open enough with each other, to be honest, because, you know, you don't want to, you know, it's, it's, it's always a bit of a it's, a, it's a very exciting time in the beginning of a relationship, but it's, it's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of questioning, isn't there, about, you know, you know each of you are questioning because you're not really fully connected to be able to be open and honest and you're not sure what to say whether you should say that whether you should not say that so there's a lot of all of that questioning going on so they might be relying a lot on their intuition when it comes to you and them they may feel uh, they may be getting a lot of guidance they may feel um they may feel that you and them have got a strong future together, that, that you're fated, that there's a, it's a fated connection in some way. What else have we got? What is the tea? You're, they might be very psychic. That's the tea. They might be really, really psychic, this person that you're thinking about. They may have um, a strong spiritual path or a strong spiritual life. Um... See, what's the T? Celebrate differences. There might be a lot of differences between the two of you, but this is this. Uh, you might come from different worlds. Because we've got the dolphin and the unicorn here, so you might come from very different worlds. But um, this person wants to sort of celebrate those. You know, um, doesn't see that particularly as a challenge. Not that it should be. Let us get out some more tarot. What is the tea on pile? I mean, your your person that you're thinking about might be quite an unconventional character, might be quite a quirky character, might be somebody who, who sort of stands out. They may see you like that. They may see you as somebody who's original, um, yeah, different, uh, not the ordinary, you know, not ordinary. Again, there's something wrong with being ordinary, whatever that means, really. But, you know... Um, but they see you as somebody who just who just stands out a little bit. Or maybe they stand out a little bit. Um, but they love that. They love that about you. And they love to be different themselves. So what is the T? Pile number two person. What's the T? Five of Wands. Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Cups and the Hermit. And the overarching energy is the Eight of Swords. So this, they definitely somehow feel stuck in this situation because we had it in the Three of Wands. Um, maybe there's a lack of movement or things are slow. So maybe things are moving slow, almost to the point where it doesn't feel like it's moving at all. That's how this person feels, possibly. Um, the Two of Cups, again, they have a lot of feeling for you. So I get the sense that this situation is either the very start of the, the connection where you haven't, you know, you haven't built up a strong enough bond to be clear with each other, to talk things over, that kind of thing. And you're sort of like doing a lot of second guessing. And that might be frustrating this person a little bit. 
or <coughs> you're not with them for whatever reason. And with the two of cups, you know, it's like the, the it's like the main card, isn't it? This person sees you and them as having a very special connection, or they want to create a special connection between you and them, but there's maybe a lot of obstacles in the way. This person is thinking that there's a lot of obstacles in the way or that they can't move forward somehow because um, the Five of Wands is also about challenges. So maybe this, maybe this person feels there's a lot of competition for your attention, for your affections. The Queen of Swords says they are thinking a lot. They're doing a lot, spending a lot of time thinking in this period of inaction. Um... Yeah, they're spending a lot of time thinking. Maybe they're concerned if they don't act, you're going to cut them out or you're going to, yeah, because this woman is about to, is about to cut the stem of this rose, this guy's head in it. So, yeah, maybe they're feeling like they've got to act soon or maybe they feel like they've got to speak up, speak their truth, let you know. Otherwise, um you know you, you uh somebody else will snap you up or you um yeah you won't you won't um you know you won't entertain them unless they kind of do it quickly something like that because the nine of pentacles yeah maybe there there's an independent there's an independence to this uh connection it feels like it's in separation it feels like uh maybe you're not together at the moment because uh, you've also got the Hermit card, which is a card of aloneness. So it could be that many of you are in separation for whatever reason, you're not with this person. But what this person really wants is to be with you here, with the Two of Cups, because I think they really, really, really like you. But what they can see around them is a lot of obstacles. And what they really want to do is get, you know, and they've got and they've got deep feelings for you, but they feel like there's a lot of obstacles here uh, towards you towards coming to, to you towards you but I feel like with the Queen of Swords here they feel like they want to speak up uh, and say something and come towards you and do some kind of gesture here what's that hermit let me just, let me just um, extend the hermit here what's the hermit about Let's extend the hermit. What have we got? So we've got the emperor. I'm just extending the hermit here. The emperor judgment. And then we've got uh, the queen of cups. And if, yeah, they want in some sort of transformation from, from something that might be not very active with the death card here, right underneath the hermit. So something that's not something that's not active. They want to take charge of it. They want to have a plan. They want to have a strategy. They want to make a bold uh, plan, really, with the Emperor here. Uh, and it comes right under the Queen of Swords, which is also a card of thinking, of strategizing, of doing the right thing. So they definitely um, are coming up with some sort of plan here to um, rise, you know, to, 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 with the Judgment card here, to, to, to raise the connection in a much more, to, to bring the love out in the connection, to give the opportunity for the connection, for the love to come out, to transform it in some way. Because at the moment, they're feeling a lot of love for you. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of love, um, a lot of deep desire, but it is all hidden, right? So what they're trying to do is come up with some sort of strategy or plan amidst all these challenges and where they feel quite stuck to start something with you right to start something with you to either um you know re reconnect with you or to begin something with you um, or to take it to the next level possibly as well to take it to a deeper level here because these are really all major arcana cards apart from the queen of cups and so with the hermit card they might be doing a lot of soul searching a lot of thinking about that because that is the hermit you know looking inward thinking how can I move this, how can I move this situation on really. So that's what we've got there. So in terms of zodiac signs, so we've got uh, Virgo, Cancer, um, 
Uh, we've also got um, all of the air signs of Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. And we've got the air energy. Right, okay, so let us uh, now get out some other some of these cards so what is the tea on pile number two's person what are they hiding what are they keeping secret perfect timing okay so they might be waiting for the right time to do it they might be waiting for the right time um to come forward or to you know to speak to you to speak up to follow through on this plan What is the tea? Forgiveness. Maybe they think there's a need for forgiveness. Maybe you need to forgive them. Maybe they need to forgive you. So maybe there's some forgiveness in this situation that is required. Let's have some of these. What is the messages here? I hid who I really am from you. I think this came out in pile number one. Um, what's the tea? I wish I had treated you better. Okay, might resonate with some of you. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So there you go, pile number three. Not pile number three, sorry, pile number two. That has been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, do consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell. But otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number three, welcome, welcome to your reading. So today we are doing what is the tea on your person of interest? What are they maybe hiding from you, keeping secret from you, not saying? What are you not seeing? Uh, and you chose to come into the reading and this lovely card, which is, this is the world of dreams. This is the Prophecy Oracle deck. I was saying in pile number one and two, I absolutely love this Oracle deck. I think it's gorgeous. And this is the card that you came into the reading on. Okay. And the lapis uh, lazuli uh, crystal or stone here. Okay. So there you go. Actually, I'm going to put that on our card so we can see it just there. Lovely. How are you all doing? Is everyone okay? I hope so. Sending you all my love and light as always. And reminding you, of course, that it is a general reading today. So please just take the messages that resonate. It's timeless. That's good whenever you are watching it, whenever you are catching it. Um, so let's get straight to it, shall we? Um, I'll just get out some oracle cards, I think, first of all. So we are asking today, aren't we, for part number three. What is the tea on their person? What is their person hiding from them? What are they keeping secret? What can't part number three see? What is going on underneath it all? This came out in part number two. And it is the card that it says total submersion. It says, don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find what your life has been lacking. All right. This is the world of dreams. So I feel like there's a lot of this uh, whale is right beneath the surface of all this water. Water is all about the unconscious. It's about feelings. It's about emotions. I feel like this person might be having a lot of dreams about you or deep in their emotions for you. Uh, you might be connecting in the dreamscape, in the dream world, in dream time. Um... There may be a strong sort of like intuitive link or psychic link between the two of you. But this person is feeling there's some pull. But they're deep. I feel like they're deep in their feels for you. Um, and that was sort of similar to pile number two or a certain aspect of pile number two's message. But let's get to another. Let's have another one that we got here. Um, what is the T on part number three's person, please? I feel like it. No, what is the T? The T. There we go. That's it. That's the one. Awareness. Yeah, they might be becoming aware. Uh, very waking up or becoming aware of their feelings for you, of how deep their feelings are for you, possibly. Uh, with the card number two, two is all about partnership, connection, relationships, um, 
friendships, you know, deep connections, that kind of thing. So let us let us get some tarot out, shall we? So let's get some tarot out for part number three. Let's see on their person. What is their person keeping hidden? What is their person keeping secret? What is part number three not seeing? Five of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. The Hanged Man. The Two of Swords. Oh my goodness. And the Eight of Pentacles here. What's the overarching energy? The Hierophant. Mm. What have we got here? So. Oh gosh. So this person is. I think this person is deep in their feelings for you, but they feel really out in the cold. They're feeling shut out. Um, they may be feeling rejected by you. Or maybe the situation is cold at the moment between the two of you. Uh, the hangman tells me this person is giving this connection or this situation a lot of thought. They may be feeling that with the awareness, they are becoming very enlightened about you and them. So maybe they've had some realisations about you and about the connection. Uh, and they've realised um, the depth possibly of their feeling for you with all this emotion here um you might be a fantasy now for them some sort of dream for them and maybe they've kind of woken up to i think i said that somewhere here didn't i maybe woken up to how deep their feelings are for you but they're equally feeling like there's a lot of uncertainty around this connection with the two of wands and the two of swords um yeah, there's uncertainty, they can't see a clear way forward, it feels cold. Um, but with the hangman and the eight of pentacles, this person has some kind of desire to, to work on things, I think. To improve things, to make things better. Um, it could be that you're in a connection with them. With the hierophant that you the overarching energy is hierophant which is commitment so you could be in a committed situation with this person they could have a lot of deep feelings for you but the situation could feel stuck or it could feel um out of kilter or it could feel on the verge of separation or um cold somehow cold but this person with the hangman and the eight of pentacles is realizing Right, that they don't want uncertainty in the situation anymore. They want to work at things. They're becoming enlightened. Right, it's uncomfortable. It is definitely uncomfortable. They're definitely uncomfortable at the moment in the connection. They're not comfortable in the connection. I think because there's so much doubt and they, they just can't see it. They just don't know what's happening or they can't see a way forward or it just feels very cold and there's a lack. There's a lack somewhere in the connection. Uh, and it could be that you're with them and they feel and all of that, but they want to work on it. They're trying to work on it or they're trying to think, how can we improve this? How can we raise? How can we elevate it? Um, or they they are wanting, possibly out of a, a separation here or some sort of, yeah, you could be in separation from this person. You might even be in a no contact situation with this person or you're just not, you're just not with them. And what they're aiming for is commitment. Uh, something like that. This person, for some of you, just to sort of an aside, this person might be some sort of spiritual guide, some kind of spiritual leader. Um, maybe they think you are, or maybe they're thinking you've got a very strong spiritual path, or someone, or both of you have got a very strong spiritual path. You might be part of a spiritual community. Um, yeah. So this person is, I feel like this person is in a bit of pain in this connection. They feel deeply for you. They might be doing a lot of fantasizing and dreaming about you. Um, but this, they have maybe woken up to their feelings or woken up to how strongly they feel about you. Um, but the situation is in doubt, is in jeopardy, is um, not clear. And this person is trying to gain some awareness to, and also to work on, to master, uh, to master it in some way, to improve it, to elevate it, to move it up in some way. 
Um, yeah. Okay. So what have we got? So we've got Taurus energy. We've also got um, Virgo energy. We've got um, Libra energy, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus again. Hmm. Let's get out some other cards, shall we? So, okay, so what is the T? I mean, the other thing is this, this person might be feeling some doubts. Might be feeling some doubts. Might be struggling with some doubts. Might be struggling with some fears in the connection. Might be fearing rejection by you or fearing being put out in the cold. Fearing, um, yeah, fearing isolation. So fearing being isolated from you. There might be a lot of fear around that. And they're wanting to kind of like work on it maybe they think there needs to be some guidance for you and them in the connection so maybe they're considering getting some guidance or think that you and them should get some guidance around the connection some outside guidance something like that so what is the tea on part number three's person what is the tea please onion protection there might have been some tears in this connection with the onion here there might have been some sadness Protection, but I feel like this person is wanting to hold on to it to protect it somehow. Something like that. But anyway, let's get this one out. Um, what is the T on part number three's person? Be true to your heart. Be true to your heart. Okay. Let's get out some tarot some more tarot here what is a t on pile number three's person what's a t nine of pentacles the hanged man again gosh a lot of awareness going on with this person but they're they're, they're definitely uncomfortable they're feeling uncomfortable in the situation but in that un in that discomfort they, they feel like they're gaining a lot of awareness, a lot of enlightenment, if you like. The Knight of Swords. The Moon. Oh, my goodness. And the Ten of Swords. Wow. The Magician. All right. So, I can't help feeling that for most of you in this pile, you are not with this person you are not the person that you're thinking about is you're not you're not actually with them but this person definitely still has feelings for you they definitely still have deep feelings for you look at this person look at this moon she's look at this moon this woman is dreaming right and we have in your main card this is the world of dreams she's dreaming right um and we have the moon smiling here so I feel like this person is doing a lot of dreaming and fantasizing about you. Um, but you are hidden from them. You are not accessible to this person, right? They don't feel like you're accessible. Maybe they do feel out in the cold. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is uh, maybe they think you are independent. You are independent of them. You are doing better maybe than they are. Um... This person is, you know, I feel like if you've come into separation because of something that happened, yeah, I feel like this person's got a lot of regret. I feel like this person's got a lot of regret and is finally waking up, maybe, or like I say, finally realising, um, becoming aware of how much um, you meant to them, right? How much you meant to them. Uh, the Knight of Swords, again, is about, um, it's about a lot of thinking it's about bold action. This person might feel like they want to take some bold action um, in terms of moving forwards. And we've also got to be true to your heart. So I feel like this person is wanting to be true to their heart and their heart is with you. But they are also going through a lot of doubts and fears with the moon and the ten of swords. There's a lot of pain in this connection. But the reason why I'm saying all this is because you've got the hierophant and then you've got the magician. So the overarching energy is the magician, which is trying to manifest 
or manifesting some sort of commitment with you again. So I feel like this person is wanting to manifest, to create a committed connection with you again. But it feels to me, because they have lots of feelings for you, because they are becoming more aware or they finally become aware of their feelings for you. But it feels to me like it's this person is believing it's a little bit of a, or not a little bit of a, but a, a really big uphill struggle it would be a big uphill struggle right to come towards you they want to do it with the knight of swords but it's such there's such a lot of pain i thought this person feels like there's been such a lot of pain in this connection the ten of swords um there's a lot of doubt and fear um but of course with the ten of swords is always uh the little glimmer of hope for a new beginning because the ten of swords is always about um you know because after tens come ones don't they and you know new beginnings there's always that glimmer with a ten so tens are always excess so there's been a huge amount of pain i think this person feels that there's been a huge amount of pain in this connection um but there is also the hope to reinvent it to literally reinvent it and with the wash it looks like a washing machine is this a washing machine it looks like a washing machine an old-fashioned washing machine so with with that to sort of clean it up right to take out everything that was maybe wrong in it to clean it up to make it better to make it new again possibly to make it new again uh to make it clean again uh, i feel like that's what this person is wanting to do to make it committed again and there's a big realizations that they are having about that and they again with this knight of swords holding this big knife here i feel like something about them cutting out um cutting out anything anything toxic anything difficult anything problematic in the connection by by being honest by being truthful by speaking your truth by being bold by being clear because it comes right next to the moon which can talk about a lack of clarity uh, so maybe this person wants to cut through confusion, lack of clarity, doubt, not being sure which way to go, um, and kind of manifest something clean and clear and crisp and sort of like committed. Um, something like that. Because that is now what they've realised now is that, to, that they need to be true to their feelings and they're deep in their feelings here. At the moment, they can only dream of that because maybe it's a bit of an uphill struggle or you're maybe in separation, been in separation for a long time or you um, don't have any contact or something like that. So it might be too little too late as far as you're concerned. But this person's definitely had some major realisations about you here. So what do we have? So we have Pisces, we have um, Gemini. Uh, we also have, of course, Libra and Aquarius. Um, we have Virgo energy as well. So let's get out some message cards, shall we? So if you just move these up slightly and let's get out some message cards. Right, so what does... What is the T on par number three's person? What are they not saying? What are they hiding? trust maybe they want you to trust them again um i mean that might be difficult if there was you know if things came into separation because of trust issues or because of what's gone down but maybe this person is hoping that you will trust them again or there can be renewed trust between the two of you what's the t be assertive yes yeah, so they might want to take action which would go with the Knight of Swords, because that is about somebody just coming in very quickly and saying, you know, being very bold and direct. So that would be assertive. Maybe they want to trust, because it says be true to your heart. They want to trust in their feelings, be assertive in expressing those feelings. What have we got here? You and I were too young. So that might mean something to some of you. Maybe you're thinking about somebody, you know, you're just asking about wanting to get the tea on somebody that you knew a while ago. 
I regret lying to you. Okay, so I think I did say that there was a lot of regret earlier on in the reading. This person's probably got a lot of regret. Um, I knew exactly what I was doing. Let's have one more for pile number three, please. I replay our conversations over and over. Well, that would definitely go with the hangman because that is a lot of reflecting, um, a lot of, you know, um, going inwards um, and having that kind of epiphany moment or that light bulb moment, really. Uh, but you might have had to go over lots of information from the past, past memories, that kind of stuff. But anyway, pile number three, that has been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.